we all know how hard it is for a manager to lead a side, uh, an English side in particular, to a, to a World Cup finals. Uh, and Bobby did that twice. And that, they're pressurised situations. And, um, you know, and both tournaments, funny enough, in 86 and 90, neither of them started spectacularly well. And both of them he faced and received a lot of criticism. But he was the sort of bloke that would take that himself and just make sure that the players didn't didn't suffer for it so that you know because the worst thing you, you can do as a manager is really put the blame onto players he understood that he would take the pressure he would take the stick uh, and let the players just concentrate on playing football and not be affected and not let their confidence be affected by things that were being written about them you know I, Bobby Robson was fantastic what he did he banned all the papers we weren't allowed to see any newspapers you know, obviously because Bobby was getting sick off the press at the time. Steve McMahon was supposed to be in there, supposed to have an affair with someone, which wasn't true. Um, so there was all stuff like that, rumours going on and, you know, so it was best that we didn't read it. And it was a good idea by uh, Bobby Robson, you know. It's nothing worth me going about playing a game and then in the paper saying, you know, such and such this and that. So he banned them. So we did not have, I didn't have one clue what was going on. In 1990, um, everyone said that the, the player power shifted the tactics after after we played against Ireland to play three at the back against Holland. Uh, that wasn't the case. Um, that came from him. He asked the players, or the senior players, people like Brian Robson, Terry Butcher, Peter Shilt, myself, uh, whether he thought that would suit us. Um, we felt that it did, um, but ultimately the decision was down to him. He went and he made his money. If he'd have said we're going to continue playing 4-4-2, we'd have, we'd have done that. And um, that's you know, but that's that's the make that's what makes a great manager, someone that ultimately listens to people, but makes the only his decisions by himself. Of all my football career, I get asked about more than anything else. What were you doing? Who were you doing it to? When you did the thing with the eyes and Gaza and have a word with him. So, and it you know, Gaza we saw he was breaking down, his bottom lip was going a little bit, and it was just basically to make them aware on the bench. And I, it was to Bobby Robson, just you know, have a word with him. And, you know, just so he knew what was going on, and obviously he did, and he, I, I don't know what he said to Gaza. I think it was just, I just looked at him, um, obviously that, and I looked at him, and he sort of like, from the distance he was, it was just like, concentrate, you know, it was one of them, just concentrate, you know, and, uh, and it was, he always gives a rally job, you know, come on, you know, and I just seen that from him, and so, you know, that just gives us that, like, so yeah, come on, you know, and, as you could see, after the final, he was straight. After the, the whistle went, he was straight off to visit on, putting his arm around his, his shoulder and hugging his and that. Um, but it, it's astonishing. I mean, obviously, no idea at the time that that was, you know, being filmed and it would, it would just capture a nation's attention like it did. And um, and the fact that it was was to Bobby as well. So it was, yeah, it's one of those moments people always ask me about. Still to this day, older people now, obviously. <laughs> The man was phenomenal and you know, I had the opportunity to work with him in the World Cup. Um, so any of them players that worked with him prior to that in the other World Cups, you know, like Peter WG and Brian Robson and Chris Waddle and all the other players must have been very fortunate because you know, I had with him I reckon I had one of the six weeks of probably the best time ever in my life.